Hello, this is a pathology specimen showing the cut surface of a multilocular ovarian cystic tumour. We know that there are multiple locules because each locule is one compartment within the cystic tumour. So we can see here that there are about four locules on the cut surface. And let me just turn this around. And now we're looking at the serosal surface or the capsular surface of the ovary, which is also abnormal because there is evidence of a papillary tumor here. So back to the cut surface, what we're actually looking at is the inner wall or the inner lining of the cyst locules. And I'm going to magnify this we can see that there is a papillary mass or there are papillary projections arising from the lining of the cyst locules and projecting into the lumen of the locules. And these appear to be quite fleshy in some areas. And here is actually the interface um, between the cyst wall and beyond that is actually outside on the serosal surface. So this tumor appears to be invading into the cyst wall which is essentially the rest of the ovarian compressed parenchyma and going all the way extending to the serosal surface. So this is a feature of malignancy. And we can see clearly that this is the tumor that is beyond the serosa. The diagnosis here is serous cyst adenocarcinoma of the ovary. Um, I would just like to highlight here that this particular locule contains this brownish fluid, which uh, in a fresh specimen would have been watery and bloodstained, and this is what we call serosanguinous fluid. So let me give a brief summary of serous tumors, and this has also been covered in the talking pot on the serous cyst adenoma. So serous tumors are primary ovarian epithelial tumors that are derived from the Mullerian epithelium and the three main histologic types are serous, which are the commonest, mucinous and endometrioid. There are three main grades of these tumors. We have the cyst adenomas, which are benign. We have the borderline tumors and we have the carcinoma, of which this is an example. And it can be called serous carcinoma or serous cyst adenocarcinoma if there is a large cystic component. And these tumors may be unilateral or bilateral. They feature marked architectural atypia. You can see here uh, very complex papillary structures and also marked nuclear atypia and invasion into the stroma, which is the cyst wall. And these tumors may also be associated with germline mutations in BRCA genes and hence the other associated tumors such as breast carcinoma as well as endometrial carcinoma. Serious carcinomas may also be associated with germline BRCA mutations, and these patients may also have carcinoma of the breast as well as fallopian tube and potentially other sites. So for both borderline tumors as well as serous carcinomas, there may be peritoneal involvement, and it is often the extent of peritoneal involvement that dictates the prognosis of these tumors. Let's have a look at the microscopic features more closely. Here is a low magnification view, and these pictures are taken from the PathWeb online pathology resource. And here we can see large blue areas which signify tumor that are clearly invading into the stroma. And at this end, we can see some papillary structures that are protruding into the lumen of the cyst locules. At higher magnification, we can see these slender but rather complex papillary structures and it's very blue because it's very cellular and there are these large sheets of malignant cells. Let's go on higher magnification. Here we can see malignant cells at high magnification, some of them forming sheets, some of them forming papillary structures and many mitotic figures. There is one here, another one here and the nuclei show high-grade features with high nucleocytoplasmic ratios. So the prognosis of serous carcinomas depends on the grade of the tumor as well as, of course, the stage. A side-by-side -side comparison of a serous cyst adenoma and serous carcinoma is seen in the video of the serous cyst adenoma in the same playlist. So in summary, this is a multilocular 
cystic ovarian tumor comprised of fleshy papillary structures protruding into the cyst lumina as well as invading through the wall of the cyst and onto the serosal surface of the ovary. This is a serous cyst adenocarcinoma of the ovary.